Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a little while since I've posted and there's good reason for it. It kind of is just a mixture between the last few reasons that I've given just all combined into one. Basically, um, there is, you know, a bunch of uh, Balasan companies, two of which got added to the list of six Balasan companies in total that have told me within the last four months that they will without a doubt be sending me a Balasong and even after recontacting them they reassured me that I am definitely getting a Balasong and uh, the only person out of that entire list who actually ended up sending me a Balasong well there's two people one was Flytanium uh, their Zenith trainer and the other one uh, was Nibali's and everyone else which I will not name because I don't want to like compare companies based on their word, right? Because their product and the output of their work versus uh, their ethics or reasons as to not sending something after saying they would could be, you know, beyond my understanding and all of that. So I can't speak on that. But that's pretty much why I haven't been posting. Now, this entire week, I have been flipping the Nabali's Extrusion. But the reason that I'm not flipping that in this video is just because I actually really like this. The Jerry Hom um, Ghost Trainer, uh, the G10, all G10 Trainer. Um, the original is just as good as this. The clone is just as good as the original. Um, I actually do like the original a little bit better just because it was like more transparent than the clone's Jade version. Um, but yeah, besides that, as far as the extrusion goes, I have actually really been enjoying it. In fact, during this week, I did pick that up more than any other Balasong. Um, so I do find it extremely fun. Nabali's did reach out to me and they said that they're going to be working on updates for it. They asked my personal opinion on the matter as well as reaching out to other people, um, which is really cool to see with a company. Um, you know, so like coming out with something that's good for a good price and then on top of that reaching out to the people who have used it to ask for their feedback to make changes. So that is something you guys can look forward to. Um, a few things they're going to make changes on obviously is uh, the grip. They're going to try to process the handles better in a way where um, people have more grip. And then also they're going to try to make the jimping a little bit sharper and possibly even work on... Um, you know, getting a better tolerance tuning with their machines. Um, now, uh, that's pretty much it as far as the two topics that I wanted to cover today. I mean, um, there is kind of a little third one I'll throw in here. But someone uh, uh, commented on a video recently. And uh, I, it was because I complained about something being uncomfortable. I think it was one of the $7, $8 all steel balisons from Amazon. And um, the thing about it is when I say something is comfortable or uncomfortable, uncomfortable is just obviously something that's going to make your hands hurt more while flipping. Um, and they commented something pretty interesting. They said that it's like normal to get hurt um, in order to learn what you're doing wrong. But I think that there's a threshold to that. I think that there's obviously a balancing act between what is comfortable and not comfortable, right? Like, obviously, you are going to hurt yourself if you're doing something wrong, like with a live blade. But when it comes to the comfortability of you just flipping, first off, I always say you should use a trainer. But even trainers can be uncomfortable. Now, this person commented and said that, you know, if you're flipping wrong you'll obviously be uncomfortable but i have been flipping correctly for a little while now obviously i mess up on some tricks just as anyone does but um you know someone like myself or other people who flip can attest that you know you shouldn't feel uncomfortable or hurt while flipping it comes down to how cheap a balisong is it comes down to the design the way it's processed and the materials that we're choosing to be used um, for that balisong. So for example, if you bought a seven to eight dollar steel balisong on Amazon and it was heavy and it had sharp edges on the on the handles, then no. Um, uh, well, of course, I mean, you're going to feel pain because it, that's an uncomfortable balisong. 
but what I'm saying no to is you shouldn't accept that as normal. It's not normal to just accept uh, pain while flipping. If something it makes you uncomfortable or hurts you, you should not want to pursue doing that thing. That's not normal. I understand that there are going to be people who think otherwise, which will leave a comment and I'll just delete it. But um, there are, you know, actual uh, mental discrepancies today that exist in terms of people not understanding what's normal in terms of comfortability. But yeah, I'm just trying to put that out there for people. Um, people are uh, starting to work on the lawn out in front. So that's going to be loud. So I guess I'll end the video here. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying your days, lives, weeks, months, um, you know, holidays, family and friends, games and shows, and all of that good stuff in between. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Yeet.